Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll be sharing with you on how to download various type of images. You can definitely download uh, various type of images from this site, USGS. So uh, what you simply do is that uh, from your browser, you definitely press what? S Explorer USGS. So once you press, once you search at explorer usgs is going to bring out this page for you so the first thing you do is that you create an account with them so once you create an account you follow every step of what they said you should do after i create an account then you log into the website so i'll click on at explorer so you click on at explorer so because i've created an account before with them this is what is going to show on the screen for new user immediately you create an account you'll be able to log in but because i've created an account so uh it automatically sign me in into their account using my browser the first step is that on this browser here you can see we can use polygons on your area of interest this let's assume uh my area of interest let me focus on this area as my area of interest and uh, i need uh, the imagery for this area so what i'll simply do is what what i'll simply do is what i'll do is that i'll click on it once when i click on it this is a point you can see it on the screen light and launch but it's not a polygon so if i want to define the word area i'll just do it i'll i'll select i'll keep selecting so it's going to be displaying here but you know uh maybe you have uh, assuming you want it to be precise you can click on clear coordinates another way you can get it done is that you can bring in shape files maybe you already uh, divide the area from google heads and you've converted it to uh, kml shape files you just click on these icons as shapes kml slash shape files upload so you select the folder the file where you you select the location where you have it on your system by clicking on this select files but i'm not going to use that method i'll i can you can definitely also pick directly from the online uh, map that you have here so once you are done picking the area of interest that you want to focus on the next thing you do is that you click on data sets so after i click on data set uh this is what you have on the screen this is what you have on the screen you can have digital elevation we have digital maps we have land cover we have land start we have different types so uh, uh for digital elevation we have when you click on this plus icon there is going to bring it give you a drop down so as uh, you can see we have different type of digital elevation uh but i'll click on this plus sign that says and uh, this plus sign of uh, srt and when i click on it we, you can see uh we have different type as well you will see we have srtm vault field we have srtm uh second global and uh, for this srtm float field this srtm uh, which is actually available for everyone but us can download a 30 meter 30 by 30 meter resolution while other people will only have access to 9 meter by 9 meter resolution and the technique that was used is a uh, it's a an interpolation method that was compiled with other elevation data from different sources uh, but for this global so i'll be going with this global because for this global now it is not only is only restricted for the us but it is global and it's a very high resolution of 30 meter by 30 meter for everyone so i'll be going with this then after that you click on results so after i click on results it's going to give you this place this page on the screen now we have uh, i have results here on my screen result on my screen here so now uh you can see it give me a variety of results uh, but the thing there is that uh, on my area of interest now when you see this is my area of interest now but when you click on this 
icons that show foot parts. You can see at uh, these icons that show, you can see the role extent of what this SRTN data we recover. This is the area where it recover. When I click on the next one now, you can see the next one you can see what is going to cover and the next one you can see what's going to cover why the last one cover uh, in, in my though every part covers part of my area of interest but uh i the major one that cover my area of interest uh for this uh, practical purpose uh tutorial at least i can still download this one that covers this region here this one that covers this region here i can still download that because it covers a larger part so what i'll simply do is what i'll click on download options so now it's going to give me the option to download uh you can see we have different options but this gotif uh it's a very high resolution that is is a 30 by 30 meter 30 meter by 30 meter resolution so i'll download Jyoti IF. So once I click on download, you can see on the drop down menu here, it's going to download it for me. Then once it's download, once finished downloading, I can do what? I can import the download files to my QGIS for further processing. So what I'll simply do is what? I will locate the location of where it is being downloaded on my system. So what I'll, the next thing I will do is to what I will open the demo file on my QGIS. So I will launch my QGIS. Then once I launch my QGIS, I will drag in the OpenStreetMap. So from the OpenStreetMap, since I already know the location area where I have my den, I can do what I can just go to that area directly which is Nigeria and then I'll bring in the dem files so I'll open the map, the dem files that I was downloaded on my system I'll select the location where I have the dem files now this is the dem files so I'll just drag it in there now you can see it on the screen this is it here yeah. so uh you can do what you can change the symbology of these dump files to have a proper view of the elevations so what you simply do is you cl click on it and right click on properties then it's going to display the symbology for you so under the symbology the render type you can definitely do what you can change it to single band to the color and then uh, under color ramp uh, you can create new RAM create new RAM and then you change it from gradient to this catalog city p city and you click ok so now we have this all ramps so uh, let me click on this to bring graphy. So we can use this. You click OK. Now you can do what you can change the. You can change the classify to twenty on time so once you click on when, when you change it from uh continuous to contact it goes to enable you to change the the values like the values of what you can have on the then so let's change to 20 so you click apply and then you click ok so now this is it on the screen now you can see now we already have it on the screen so that is how to download various type of uh, imagery using usgs and then to further to work further on 
and you can bring it into QGIS to carry out your tasks. Thank you.